Uh, I was just going to make a very brief statement and uh, then happy to, to field a few questions. But um, certainly the, um, the significance of the bone find um, is not lost on the family and uh, you know, we're aware that that primary site is definitely of interest to the police and um, uh, you know, we're, we're, uh, we're choked with emotion um, being the possibility that it is Daniel and of course we're, we're really hopeful that it is which uh, you know, can bring to conclusion um, you know, an extremely sad chapter in our family's uh, life but um, you know, we, we'd also like to acknowledge the tremendous work of the Queensland Police Service um, particularly over the last couple of weeks and, uh, and uh, especially the SES over the, um, you know, the last nine days, probably longer, but we're not uh, necessarily aware of that. But, uh, you know, the SES have done countless scores of searches uh, over the, the almost eight years and drawn a blank on many of those. But, um, you know, this one seems to be a um, um, uh, potentially interesting site. And, uh, you know, with the, with the shoe finds and obviously the human bone, bone finds, um, we're just awaiting forensic tests to see um, whether they are, are in fact Daniel. So uh, we're still waiting specific tests to be done and we understand that'll be a number of weeks away. How did you, where were you when you found out and how did you find out? Uh, well, the weekend was uh, planned uh, many months ago as a, uh, a double 80th birthday for Denise's parents. And um, so on Saturday we flew down, the, the two boys and Denise and myself, and. Um, as we got off the plane, we switched the phones on, and of course we had the, the revelation that uh, a second shoe would be found. So that was um, extremely dramatic as, as you uh, leave the airport. And then, of course, on the Sunday, we just had the, um, uh, the, the family gathering, uh, being an afternoon tea, and um, uh, we took the, the call about an hour into uh, that event, and uh, uh, it, it was the two boys and Denise's my um, brief discussion on a balcony where we took fielded that call uh, privately that we decided not to tell anybody uh, at the party because we didn't want to um, uh, you know make a terribly sad occasion for um, for grandparents that have that have uh, uh, had it tough enough you know for uh, for nearly eight years so um, as soon as that that party effectively was over we told them and and of course they were uh, uh, they were rocked by the news. Um, it, it's a very, very unusual type of news to receive where you, you have been waiting a hell of a long time to hear that your son's been found. Um, but at the same time, you, you, uh, you know, he's been listed as a missing person. So, you know, th there's that, um, uh, that grey area, I suppose, where y you just don't know um, you know what to call Daniel and and uh, and how to receive the news that potentially you know the the, the, the depending on the significance of that find um, uh, just uh, uh, is that going to be the final chapter or not so um, you know we're, we're prepared to wait for a number of, of weeks and, and get the required tests because it is important that the forensic tests are done um, um, beyond question and, um, and, and I have no doubt that the police will ensure that uh, everything's uh, uh, done to the letter of the law and beyond. You mentioned that you were choked with emotion when you got the news. It must have been very difficult keeping that to yourself at, at the party. Then if you yeah, it no, warming. yeah, you, you're right. Um, um, part particularly um, as um, th there was a montage played of um, Denise's parents. Um, you know, going from black and white photos through to, you know, th their own children being uh, young and then, of course, um, their children growing into parents themselves and, and then um, uh, being grandparents. And, and obviously we were sitting there seeing Daniel plus, you know, other grandkids and um, I'm sitting there with a hot phone in my pocket with uh, terrible news on it. So, um, uh, yeah, yeah, it was, it was pretty tough. Did this news seem much more real to you than the of the shoes? Is it more significant? Yeah, it, it is. Um, I suppose over eight, uh, eight days we've had uh, four monumental phone calls, which was uh, the arrest, the first shoe, the second shoe, and then the, the uh, human bones that were found. And um, 
Uh, each of those uh, sets you back in a, in a wave, I suppose. Um, but uh, if you sort of rate each of those uh, phone calls, um, in some strange way the, the potential of those uh, bones being Daniel is, uh, is relief. Um, you know, it's, it's not, um, it's certainly not good news or, or a celebration of, of any sort, but it is, uh, it, it is sheer relief that um, maybe this is the final chapter that we've been hanging on for uh, a long, long time. Are you surprised at how quickly, I mean, it's been a, just over a week since the arrest and, and news of it came to light, but are you surprised at how quickly different things have, been, have turned up in the week, like the two shoes mm. and the remains? Yeah, I've always uh, thought that um, when we get a bit of luck on our side, and the police have, have always identified we just need a bit of luck, a bit of luck, and um, maybe we got some luck, um, you know, in the recent past, and. Uh, and uh, it was all, always going to come to a quick conclusion if that luck proved significant. And uh, um, certainly the arrest was uh, was crucial. And um, uh, we're just waiting on forensic tests to to, to uh, determine whether uh, those belongings, as well as those bones, do belong to Daniel. So we're, we're still waiting. The police have confirmed today that those shoes were the same ones Daniel was wearing when he was abducted. Obviously, the odds are short. Uh, I'm unaware if they've uh, put out a statement. They were, they were the same uh, brand. Is that what you're suggesting? Yeah. Perhaps, um, yes. Well, if if that's out, um, um, we were we were certainly told that um, uh, with the initial phone call of the the first find of the shoe, and um, uh, clearly that's significant, but it's not conclusive. So you know, DNA is going to be extremely helpful as well as. Um, scientific tests for wear patterns and those sorts of things if DNA is not uh, not available. So, uh, you know, I'd imagine that uh, there's still many, many tests to be conducted to make sure that, um, uh, with beyond doubt, that it, that uh, they do belong to Daniel. How many do you the boys? How are they coping with the chain of events? Um, they're, they're actually uh, they're coping quite well, and, and Denise is uh, reasonably uh, well as well, I mean, she's she's uh, upset that that um, the potential is that that's Daniel, um, but uh, we were more upset um, when uh, with the the arrest and and the first shoe that was found. We were more upset with that because it suddenly just um, uh, brought all the emotions back of uh, you know seven and a half years, and uh, and I suppose it, it's 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 been a waiting game just the last week or so, thinking. Um, we must be getting closer. We must be getting closer, and uh, and certainly each each find was proving more significant. Do you have any plans to go back out to the search site? Yeah, we're uh, we're discussing that with police at the minute, Absolutely. and um, we just uh, we're, we're certainly aware that um, it still is a search site, and um, and clearly uh, um, uh, the the information that the police are receiving and the guidance that they need to be extremely uh, cautious about um, having relatives of Daniel in that area because of potential uh, DNA contamination of the site so uh, obviously Bradley being a twin and, and uh, you know parents going on to the site uh, needs to be extremely cautious so um, uh, we'll be uh, we've made an approach and um, we're working through some logistics to ensure that um, there is zero potential of contamination. And, um, and of course, uh, the boys and Denise and myself can spend a few private moments um, in that significant have, spot. Have the boys been out there yet? No. This no, just be the first time. It will be, yeah. And what about, as I understand it, you're on your way to Tasmania, stopping over in Melbourne for the party. Is that, is that yeah. the case? And then was it... Well, obviously you've had a huge, huge week. Was it you were just hoping to have a bit of a break, which has obviously been cut short? Yeah, um, it's not unusual. Um, we have a little holiday house down there, and uh, quite often um, with technology, certainly with uh, Skype and, and the internet and mobile phones, etc., um, we still conduct the foundation uh, just from a different location. And uh, they, we're, uh, we're well versed in that. Um, it was more a case of... Um, I think we just needed to recharge the batteries for a couple of days, um, and we thought, saw that opportunity as uh, uh, as 
presenting itself, um, but we always knew that uh, um, once the arrest and then the first due came, that uh, gee whiz, we're going to be lucky to to get through the weekend because the potential of more significant things being uh, potentially significant things being found, um, uh, you know, I, may present themselves quicker than we all imagine, and uh, and it appears to have. What made you decide to come back and not take that time? Oh, look, it's, uh, you, you have to, uh, it's, it's something human beings have, and that is um, to be with their family. And, um, you know, we've worked so hard over eight years to be with Daniel, to find him, and, um, you know, we're not, uh, we don't expect to see anything, um, you know, significant uh, there, but um, it's just more a spiritual place that... Um, um, you know, I think the family, um, in, in its healing, healing process, um, will be a few moments well spent. Because uh, certainly, um, I can speak personally, last week, um, was that Tuesday it may have been? Um, maybe it was Monday. Um, it was, uh, as I described, it was a bit eerie standing there, but um, truly, uh, when you got in the car to drive away, um, you felt as though it was significant, and, uh, and you felt a little better for it. So. Um, given that um, we've, we've uh, had more news and um, the potential of that um, to be um, of major interest is, uh, uh, is not lost on anybody, so we'll just, uh, uh, we, we feel that, uh, that um, you know, maybe the time's right to pop out there. Bruce, do you think there's a good chance now more bones will be found? Yeah, I, th I mean, that's what we're gearing up for, I suppose, is the fifth phone call. Um, uh, where it grows from from three to um, uh, you know, of course we'd we'd hope for uh, the the skeletal remains to be reasonably intact. So uh, you know, I, I have no idea of the the difficult site um, out there um, other than some news vision. But um, um, you know, it, it doesn't look great conditions, and we're all aware of the floods. And and of course there are uh, you know it's it's bushland, so there are feral animals and and that sort of thing. So. Um, and do you, do you police promise to bring in international or any experts to this case to get the DNA tested? Uh, the, the, um, the information we've got is uh, it's whatever's required. So uh, if, if, if there's uh, sufficient experts within Australia, um, uh, they'll be tasked their job. But uh, if overseas experts, um, perhaps because the, um, uh, the, the DNA um, is, is not of sufficient quality or quantity, um, you know, but there's a a more qualified person overseas. Um, you know, we're just happy that it's resourced uh, by the best people that uh, can be attracted, and uh, you know, we're, we're keen for that to happen. And how long have you been told it might be a couple of weeks, possibly? Yeah, a couple of weeks is uh, is a reasonable guide. Um, but uh, you know, if, if it's longer because of some complication, uh, it, it's it's no skin off our nose. We just want the job job done uh, properly, perfectly, beyond question, and uh, and then we'll sit back and, and deal with. Uh, the knowledge that it is Daniel, or it is not Daniel, and uh, that's still under question now. You say spiritually, do you feel, in a sense, that you're closer now than you've ever been to Daniel? Yeah, I, th I think so. Um, uh, the, uh, the, um, you know, the events over the last eight and nine days has been really significant, and uh, while there's um, you know, we, we all appreciate that, that uh, we need definite proof, and only um, you know the forensic tests will prove that. Um, uh, I, th I think uh, human nature would suggest that um, you know that the family is going to cling to what they believe, and uh, and that's that's the territory we're in at the moment. Um, uh, you know, that, that could all fall over, um, you know, with a, a strange quirk of coincidence, but but um, you know. We think it's um, it's part of the healing process if we uh, go down that path. Did you get a sense of Daniel when you were out there? Uh, no, to be to be honest, um, that, that sort of wasn't the objective, and, and um, um, it was more that um, uh, we were just recognising the potential um, of that site um, as being Daniel's last resting place, and. Um, so we were just wanting to be close to that. Um, it, it wasn't uh, uh, anything to connect, uh, you know, in a 
medium sense or anything like that when we certainly, um, none of us are like that. It was more, um, uh, I don't know, just uh, in a strange way, just wanted to have a, a pri private prayer and and uh, acknowledge the significance of the spot. And what about Denise and the boys? Are they coming back tomorrow? And uh, they'll, be on a, they'll be on a flight uh, relatively soon. And um, uh, they, they're just... Um, we, we thought the best plan of attack was to... Um, uh, for me to come back first and perhaps take the, the first uh, round of uh, media interest and, um, and they just uh, shepherded away from that um, for an extra few hours perhaps and, uh, and spend that time with their parents that, that are elderly and, and uh, need support as well. What's your heart telling you? Is this Daniel? Do you feel that, that they do have Daniel? Uh, um, I've probably already answered that in that, um, you know, we, we think it's, uh, you know, I can only speak as the parents of Daniel, you know, we, we, we just see the, um, perhaps the ducks lining up and, and sort of saying, well, it, it looks likely, but, um, you know, we, we, all, we are all very much aware that um, uh, we, we need proof and only the forensic test will bring that and uh, it may well be negative. We, we are um, not in that in that space where we're saying it's definitely Daniel. And if it is negative, how long would you hope that they continue searching for? Oh, we're really just happy with the the, uh, um, the police identifying that they will continue that search for as long as it takes until they're happy that um, you know that, that area is, uh, is thoroughly examined. So if they find nothing, um, uh, you know, there's been dozens of, of searches in the past and and they've drawn a blank, so, uh, you know, if, if this uh, does fall over, um, you know, it'll be enormously disappointing, but, um, you know, uh, we, don't, we don't think that's the case. We think um, uh, there, there's, uh, you know, enough significant things to, uh, to perhaps uh, just heighten the, uh, heighten the interest, yeah. Bruce, but, if, you, if you allowed yourself to think about funeral arrangements or anything, or is it too early for that? Um, probably uh, last evening was the very first time we've we've ever touched on that, but um, you know we we have uh, absolutely no idea of any timelines when that may be uh, at all possible. Um, simply because uh, forensic tests are going to take place, and um, you know if if, uh, if they take you know a number of weeks, um, you know, and let's face it, the uh, the uh, the search site, even though they found three human bones and there's tests to take place, um, you know, we wouldn't organise a funeral, I, I'd imagine, until that particular site is thoroughly examined um, in case there's other finds. So, uh, you know, that that may well take a number of months even. So, uh, Have you been told, like, would, would they release um, the bones if they were so We haven't even discussed okay. that, no. We, we, uh, we've only really identified that the human bones and um, and tests are to take place to determine um, if there's DNA and if that DNA is Daniel or not Daniel. So, um, you know, the, as regards funerals and and uh, you know the the possibility of other bones, you know, it's uh, uh, it's it's not really on our radar. It's just uh, coping with the news we've got to date, and we'll go from there. Have you allowed yourself to think of how he might have died? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, you, you, if you if you take that on board, you beat yourself up big time, and um, you know we're um, we've beaten ourselves up with so many stories and and um, and rumours over the journey that um, you know we're best to deal with facts, and, and the facts are we're looking for Daniel, and um, you know we're just waiting, hopefully for the next couple of weeks, and um, you know we'll we'll know a firm yes or a firm no. And go from there. Thank you. We're done. Thank you very much, Bruce.